The physicians here at Children's Hospital and OU Children's Physicians uh, are responsible really for the most specialized care for children in the entire state. We are very blessed. We have the most beautiful buildings in the state. They're awesome. On the other hand, buildings don't actually take care of uh, patients. Children's Hospital Foundation has also been key in our ability to recruit other outstanding clinicians and investigators to our section. When I came to the University of Oklahoma about a year ago, one of, if not the most important things that recruited me to this position was support from, from Children's Hospital Foundation. We have reached out and, and recruited uh, leaders from St. Jude's and from Columbus, Ohio Children's Hospital and Vanderbilt and Iowa, Texas Children's Hospital. Really, that means that we have the cutting edge care for children. Brock was diagnosed with leukemia when he was 11 months old. We, our first day in the hospital was October 6, 2009. And the first day we got to go home from the hospital was February 16th, 2010. Children's Hospital Foundation has been a key component of our ability to uh, move forward with the work that we do. Um, I came to this institution uh, in part because of Children's Hospital Foundation and the commitment that the community has made to improving the health care for children in Oklahoma. Brock has a team of oncologists um, as well as some doctors from other specialties that take care of him. And he has a fantastic relationship with all of them, mostly because they care about him so much. Uh, they love him and he loves them back. So the care that we provide to children is really excellent. And it always has been, but it also gets better. And research is the vehicle that makes the care better. We're here in uh, the Fraser Lab zebrafish room. We use these animals to study T-cell leukemia and T-cell lymphoma, two types of cancer that are quite common in kids and also happen in adults. This is where we grow and keep all the zebrafish that we use for our research. Fish have an advantage that many animals don't have. They have a backbone. I mean, you see a fish, you don't think that a fish and a person are the same. But in fact, if you think of all the animals all over the planet, a fish is a lot more like a person than an insect is. You can see through them or deep into their body. So we don't need to kill animals to, to do studies. These zebrafish, we can put them to sleep, look at them using a fluorescent microscope, and we can see where their thymus is and how large it is. And that's particularly relevant to us because we study T-cell cancer so uh, if you think about pediatric leukemia, um, we've actually come a long way. In 1960s, most children with cancer died. And now, because of a very slow, methodical process, we cure almost 80% of children with cancer. Brooks four and a half now, and he just finished treatment four months ago, and he's cancer free. And so even for cancers that we're curing 99% of the time today, there's a lot of work to be done to get where we can cure them easier, faster, and in a way that won't, won't have any long-term health consequences. Childhood cancer is not just little people with adult cancers. They're completely different and they're treated different. And so we need more research. And in order to do more research, we need more money. Conducting research is very expensive. Uh, whether it's laboratory investigation, where equipment's expensive, reagents are expensive, tumor models are expensive. The financial support, as well as emotional support, given by CHF has allowed us to build this room, to build this fish system, to hire people to breed and grow these animals. So not only to do the experiments, but to do all the necessary prep work to be in a position to do these experiments. The human body is so complicated and children have their own special problems. And so all of these various areas um, need research because they all need to get better. We never see measles here. It used to be very common. Smallpox, of course, has been eliminated as a clinical disease, so it's gone. All of those are because of research. We never, ever turn a child away. We don't turn children away based on whether or not they can pay. We always see all children. And uh, that's a commitment that we have that is just part of who we are.